everybody out there on Wiper Street. You already know what it is. Salute everybody. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Booster DS. We got another scorecard reaction for you guys, and you already know what it is. We got a throwback today. I had this one in the vault. Somebody recommended this a while ago. I've been keeping it in the cut. We're pushing for 4K subs. We're right there. I think we need like 14 more at the point. I figure we might as well give them something special that I've been holding on to uh, before we go ahead with the 4K special. Uh, I got Zub's Performance of Your Life featuring Tumi and Proverb. Y'all already know this John's about to be fire. Do me a favor. Run the gauntlet. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Little bell notification guy. Uh, down in the comments below, I want you to tell me what is your favorite throwback verse. Something is, It's got to be at least 10 years old. If it's nothing nothing less than 10 years old. I want to know what are your favorite old school drawings, all right? Um, I might end up putting like a week out there or something like that where I decide to go back and go back to some of the pioneers and shit like that. So that's, that's, that's the goal anyway. Um, also for the 4K special, I'm thinking about doing the uh, the battle, the um, Stogie T versus the SARS battle. What do y'all think about that? Every every thousand, I usually do some kind of Stogie T special. It's been like a, a reoccurring theme on my channel. So let me know if y'all are down with that. I also got something else kind of special in the cut for y'all. Uh, well, you need 14 more subs, and I'm gonna do all of it. I'm gonna give y'all all the juice. We are gonna get it all out. Um, what else? If you guys want to support the channel, the best way to do that that helps me is if you join the Patreon down in the comments below. Uh, I'm sorry, down in the description below. And if you haven't checked out my introduction to South African hip hop video, that is also the link for that will also be down in the description below. Uh, feel free to share that with any of the American or UK reactors that you guys listen to, and let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, I'm ready to hop into this now. I'm excited for this. You already know. You already know I'm gonna love it. Let's go. about this beat what do y'all think what are y'all what are y'all opinions on the beat let's talk about we never talk about the beats on this channel really what do y'all think about the beat oh you know what they say right oh. well if the picture's worth a thousand words this song's worth the language these words can damage and build miles let's surf the planet the first commandment they've been seeing move the crowd chill hold up <laughs> He said, if a picture's worth a thousand words, this song, he said, this song is worth a language? Let's, yo, come on. Oh, you know what they say, right? Oh, well, if a picture's worth a thousand words, this song's worth a language. He Ah. These words could damage and build miles, let's surf the planet The first commandment of seeing move the crowd As I cruise around, I notice how these rules could do you proud Like when you announce, they shout, soon as you come out, mm. you know what it's really about And you could do without the move, the cow would do without you When you get down to choosing the route to move the crowd to When they surround you, haters are clearly in the fall mood Could you spit in the mouth, uh -huh. and you notice a head not in the spend whispering how true uh, But not true, the sound too loud to hear the rhyme through Must have missed the line or two, like skipping through avenues I listen and marvel through, that this shit is one or two while you spitting and rethinking and kicking mine under you running through rhymes over one or two times what you want to do is shine but what's coming to your mind is when you warm up for the night you gonna be on the storm the mic before you want it know this might be the performance of your life chill <laughs> yo i don't get in my old school bag too much man i really don't this shit i can't <laughs> yo i'm bringing this all the way back i need all of it again I need all, this is going, we in here, we in here, you guys might as well grab yourself a snack, little thing of popcorn, get yourself something to drink, yo, let's, let's go, let's go. Oh, you know what they say, right? Oh, well if a picture's worth a thousand words, this song's worth a language, these words can damage and build miles, let's surf the planet, the first commandment they've been seeing, move the crowd, as I cruise around, I notice how these rules could do you proud, like when you announce they shout, soon as you come out, mm. you know what When they surround you, haters are clearly in a fall mood Could you spit in the mouth uh -huh. And you know this ahead, not in this fan, whispering how true uh, But not true, the sound too loud to hear the rhyme through Must have missed the line or two, like skipping through avenues I listen and marvel through, that this shit in one or two Are you spitting and rethinking and kicking mine under you Running through rhymes over one or two times What you wanna do is shine, but what's coming to your mind is When you warm up for the night, you gon' be on the storm The mic before you want it, know this might be the performance of your life And as you walk to the mic, don't get caught in the hype Make sure you're thought to right because the audience are like when the call that I just shout I'm causing more of that It's the performance of your life So when you warm up for the night And as you walk up to the mic Hey yo, the audience is like It's the performance of your life uh, 
It's all like getting teleported right to the forefront of the mic and the applause that follow that a scene. Photographed in the dream, sure to last if you believe for the craft, you'll perceive what a rap in the street kind of crap. Yo, this, this, it's different. It's different, man. That old school vibe, it hits your soul a little different, man. Like, it, music is different now. The, the times have changed. And it's not, not necessarily for the worse. I'm not saying that things got worse. But they're different. And there is value in that old school vibe. There is value in the bop that comes along with the, the flows that they kicked. There's value. In, there, there's just so much that goes into it, man. I'm not the, I've never been the biggest fan of old school rap. I'm, I'll be the first person to tell you that. But as I got deeper and deeper and deeper into hip hop, the more you understand like the roots and, and how the flows have developed over time and how the sounds have changed, it gives you a different appreciation for it. Like it really does. And it's fire. Like getting teleported right to the forefront of the mic and the applause that follow that a scene. Photographed in the dream, show the last if you believe for the crap, you'll perceive what a rap in the street kind of crap with a screaming pop of rats that deceive a lot of cats. I'm seeing cause of that. I see him perform tracks with a fever of a torn jacket and need to absorb so passion the beast with a poor bass. I get sick with nerves, it's the worst. Cause I'm trying to spit the verse that'll bring life onto the stage like I was giving birth. Trying not to hit the curb, trying not to forget the words, trying to maintain the level that I've set. Remember hitting the Trying my utmost, the bus flows steady like cup holes. Trying to touch those that I'm skeptical of our pro competition is cutthroat and the standard is doubled. I'm backstage with my skull because the curtain is just See, when you warm up for the night, you gon' be honest on the mic before you want it. Know this might be the performance of your life. And as you walk to the mic, don't get caught in. Dude, let's let's go. Who, who who else? What other channels bring you this? What other channels bring you this? Put them down below. Put them down below. Who else is giving you this, man? I'm in my zone right now. Like, let's go. Let down in the comments. Down in the comments. If you G, I need hashtag GS Gang. Hashtag Let's Go. Seriously, if, this, if you want more like this, if you want to do more throwbacks and shit like that, I need to see it. I need to feel it. I need to feel it in my soul. Down in the comments. Y'all gotta talk to me, man. Also, the beat ended up being hot as shit. The beat ended up being hot. It grew on me. It grew. At first, it was a little, a little, a little, a little taxing at first. Uh, but yeah, we was in there. Yo, shout out, shout out to all of them, man. Shout out to all of them. These are these are dope MCs, bro. These are dope MCs. Uh, let's go to the scorecard. Let's break it down. <laughs> I'm in such a good mood right now, man. I hope y'all are healthy. I do. I hope y'all are happy. I hope y'all are healthy. I hope everyone's doing good. Uh, I'm I'm run down, you know. What I'm saying I'm been fighting this COVID thing all week. Uh, I'm feeling better. You can see it in my eyes, though. I know I know I look drained a little bit. I try to keep as much energy up as I can, just because I love y'all. I want to put on a good show, but uh, I I really do. I hope y'all are all, all doing well. Everyone's healthy. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I'm actually new. Uh, this is my first time hearing Zubs, so new. Uh, I'm a fan of proverb. Proverb. And uh, uh, to me, yeah, I've heard of him. You already know Stogie's my guy. Let's go. Oh, why did I just why did I spell his name? Fanch, fan. All right, let's go. Target audience. Yeah, stop it. Stop it. We're here for it. Proper setting. This is cipher music, man. This is cipher music. Like 
hearing the three of them kick it back and forth in the track. Like, it's it's hot when Styles and, and Jada do it. It is. It's hot when Styles and Jada do it. But when you get three, you add Sheik to the mix? Come on, man. Stop it. Ghost Rider, I ain't getting no Ghost Rider vibes. The 90s. <laughs> Bars are lyrics. Now, what do we do, man? What do we do here? Talk to me. <gasps> you and I both know that it wasn't the most lyrical verse. We, we know that. That's Times have changed. Rap is different than what it used to be. If we were scoring this, what is this overload? 2008? And it might have even came out before then? <coughs> if we were scoring this back then, this would probably be a perfect score, right? There's a good chance if we were scoring it back then that this would be a clean slate. But we got to keep it 100. You guys come here so that I keep it 100 with you. That's why you're here, right? Bars of lyrics. It was dope. I'm going to give it an 18. I'm going to give it an 18. I'm going to think about it, though. I'm going to think about how I feel about this. What, why we're doing this old school music. Because the bars... Bars in the old school aren't going to match up to what the bars are now. Times have changed. It's different. What what we consider to be bars now isn't what was considered to be bars then. You got to understand when these things came out. And I may not be the best judge. I'll be the first person to tell you. I may not be the best judge of old school music. But we're going to try and keep it for 20 and 20. What does this rank in 2020? This is not what did it rank in 2008. The delivery, for me, was beautiful. Super beautiful. Uh, 22. They snapped on it. They snapped on it. 22 out of 25. The beat selection grew on me. The beat selection grew on me. I'm going to give it a 14. 14. wasn't perfect, but it was safe. It was a safer vibe. Sound quality mixing, not great. Volume on the vocals were too low. Uh, again, engineering and all that shit, not the same thing that it was back then. I give it a 10. I give it a 10. The effectiveness has to be a 10 out of 10. Has to be a 10 out of 10. You have... I'm not familiar with Zubs, so I can't speak on him and his legacy. But you have two of the best lyricists that I've ever heard on the same track. Yeah, they did their thing, man. It's got to be effective. Enjoyability? Stop it. This is a 10. This is a 10 for me. I enjoyed the show. I had a good time. I was laughing. I was smiling. I definitely wanted to like, get more people to listen to the throwback shit, so I'll definitely let other people listen to this shit. Come on, man. 84 out of 100. And then we're going to give miscellaneous points, too. Plus one miscellaneous point, just because what what a what a legendary just situation that we have going on from these MCs, man. Just out of respect. Just out of the fact that it was a dope track, that I'm feeling it, that it made me happy, put me in a good mood. You feel me? 85 out of 100. That's my keep it 100 score. You guys agree? Do you disagree? Drop down in the comments below. Talk to me. Let me know how you feel. Uh, as always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We're growing every day. And I will catch y'all on the next one.